So you're opening the lip a little wider as I'm keeping the lip flat on the top. And you can come off. You can set that tool down to be aware that those blades are smoking hot now. We're gonna just touch the sides nice and easy, and I'm gonna blow. Today we're gonna have uh, quite a few middle school and high school kids in here. So that's always fun and challenging at the same time. Dang. Trying to keep a bunch of children safe in such a wild environment with the fire and the glass and all the dangers. Oh, that's a nice view. But um, it seems to me that it keeps everybody's attention, which is really good. That's good, you could come up. Go ahead and step in. And you're gonna grab the jacks. Lots of rotation. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. This is my first time making a cup, but in the hot shop, it's not my first time. I've made one paperweight and two um, ornaments, and that requires blowing. The paperweight does it. But the cup, it was a lot more difficult uh, than that. It's a lot more heavier, and you have to do more. There we go. We're going to come up to the bench. He's a really good teacher. I like him. He's helpful and he sees like if I'm not doing something right, he'll help me and teach me how to do it. Yeah. Instead of just doing the formula, he'll teach me. Today we're here at Sonoran Glass. We come actually twice a week with the 7th and 8th graders. And the 8th graders are making right now a glass mosaic of the school logo which will be incorporated into a larger design with our name and some metal work for a sign to go outside our school. When we start a new cycle with new students here, the Glass School is always really good about kind of giving them a foundation of just the basics of what is glass, how is it made, where does it come from, so we kind of start with a science-based approach, get them a little knowledge about it, and then, the, you know, we kind of build on it. We're, they're doing everything, as you've seen, from mosaics to hot shop work to making beads in the flame shop. And it kind of gives them an interdisciplinary approach to creating stuff together as a team. You know, these guys are working together, making something. They came up with this plan together, and they're seeing it through. And a lot of it is really just a way to do something really fun and whether they even realize it or not, build a skill set into them. You know, the, the collaboration that's happening right now, they're just doing it naturally. We don't really have to do much about it because the fun of no the medium just kind of brings that out of them. You know, they want to do it. They get to play with all the stuff they're not supposed to at home. They get to play with uh, fire and glass and torches and all these things that are already intriguing to any young child. <laughs> and uh, that's what initially draws them in. So now we're gonna do the final step, which is getting the color. And then the open-ended creativity is what keeps them there. Um, to be able to explore any idea that they think of, and there's no rules. And a lot of the children that come in here, um, the glass is one of the things that kind of opens them up initially, because they might be quiet or withdrawn from arts. Uh, and um, they might think that all oh, there is with art is painting and drawing, which is what they're exposed to at school. So um, here they get to see this whole new realm of creative process that they've never seen before. 